In this session, we're going to convert between units of miles and kilometers using the fundamental relationship between the English system and the SI system, which states that one inch is exactly equal to 2.54 centimeters. Now there isn't a direct link between miles and kilometers. So what we are going to have to do is do this conversion in a roundabout way. The first thing we're going to do is convert from units of miles to units of feet because I know a relationship between units of miles and units of feet. Then we're going to convert from units of feet to units of inches. And from units of inches, we're going to convert to units of centimeters. And from centimeters, we're going to convert to meters. And from meters, we're eventually going to convert to kilometers. Now the fundamental relationship between, or that links or bridges these two different systems of measurement is the inch and the centimeter. This is the fundamental relationship between the SI system and the English system of measurement. And to begin, let's just list a few unit relationships that you may already know. And one of those unit relationships says that one mile is exactly equal to 5,280 feet. You know that there's 12 inches in one foot and you know that one inch equals 2.54 centimeters, and you know that 100 centimeters equals one meter, and 1,000 meters equals one kilometer. So we're gonna use all of this information to make the conversion between units of miles and units of kilometers. So to begin, let's convert one mile over to kilometers. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is turn or convert miles into units of feet. So I know that one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. And notice that the unit that I'm converting from goes on the bottom, and that way this unit will cancel out with this unit and I'll be left with units of feet. Then what I'm gonna do is convert units of feet, so I know that one foot equals 12 inches, and again, Notice that my unit of feet cancels out with this unit of feet and I'm left with units of interest in this case. And now I'm gonna multiply this by the fundamental unit that bridges the SI system and the English system, and that's one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. That's a 0.54. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply this by, notice that this unit of inch cancels out with this unit of inch. And now I know that 100 centimeters equals one meter, and again, notice that this unit of CM cancels out with this unit of CM, and now I need to convert from units of meters over to kilometers, and to do that, I know that 1,000 meters equals one kilometer. And ultimately, when I'm done canceling out all of the appropriate units, this unit cancels out with this, I'm left with units of kilometers. So I've gone from units of miles to units of kilometers. Now when I do this, what I need to do is multiply all the numbers out in the numerator. So I'm going to multiply all of these numbers out and then divide by all the numbers in the denominator. So what that should look like is 5,280 times 12 times 2.54 times 1 km. And I'm going to divide all of that now by 100 times 1,000. And when I do that, I get 160934 kilometers divided by 10 to the fifth. And when I do that division out, when I divide 160,934 by 10 to the fifth, I get 1.609, and I'm just going to approximate this 3, 4 to be essentially 0 kilometers. And that is my relationship between the mile. So another way to say this is that 1 mile equals 1.609 kilometers. Now oftentimes we round this number up to be approximately so in a lot of calculations that we do, we simplify this number to 1.61 kilometers. But this 1.609 is a more accurate unit than this. This is a good approximation of what we tend to use in conversions between one mile and one kilometer.